All these uh, royal stories today, uh, the King's Health predominating uh, everything. And uh, we joined Rafe Hadel Manku, uh, royal broadcaster and commentator on of this. Rafe, how, how did you feel last night when at six o'clock you heard this news? Well, like, like the entire nation, of course, shocked. Uh, although at the same time, I have to say, thankful that His Majesty did go in to have a procedure done on his benign and large prostate because it was thanks to that that they detected the cancer and, uh, as we believe, or perhaps captured in the early stages, making treatment all the more easy. So something to uh, be, be thankful for, for, if we can, about that. It's also worth perhaps noting that today, the 6th of February, is the anniversary of the death from lung, lung cancer of the last king, King George VI, really? grandfather of our current king. He died in 1952 at the age of only 57. And 70 years ago, you know, the word cancer was a death sentence. And it just goes to show how far we've come from those, from those days, given that so many cancers now are so easily treatable. The secrecy that that was shrouded in. I mean, they, they built a, a theatre, uh, an operating theatre inside Buckingham Palace uh, to try and treat him and save him, didn't they? And so much so was their secrecy that even uh, Queen Elizabeth, the, at the time Princess Elizabeth, had no idea how sick her father was, hence why she was in Kenya uh, on, a, on a tour of duty overseas when, when this happened. You're right. I mean, we've seen a huge shift in attitudes towards the relationship between the, the monarch and the royal family's health matters and how much is conveyed to the public. You know, it wasn't that long ago. It was only in the last couple of years of the Queen's life that uh, she went for medical tests in, in hospital and uh, they kept the, the banner flying above Buckingham Palace to show that she was in residence. Even though she wasn't, she was in hospital. And it was only when the Sun newspaper got news of this and was about to leak it that the, the palace had to do a U-turn and admit that Her Majesty was undergoing tests. I think since that point, the, uh, the, the monarchy has realised that they need to be rather more open with the public about the, uh, about the, uh, about the monarchy, uh, but at the same time respecting, of course, the rights of any person, be they royal or not, yeah. to have some privacy over their health matters. But, but it's a great contrast, you know? for example, with the American presidency. In, in America, the, the public expect to know every single aspect of the American president's yeah. health, you know, but, but that's we, not something we that we really have over in this about the King, Rafe, is that he, well, he's a fit man. Uh, his, his weight, um, he's got an optimum weight. He eats once a day. Um, he's big into complementary medicine, so one would expect as well that whatever traditional treatments uh, or mainstream treatments he's getting, he would be supplementing that with um, the, the alternative stuff. Yes, great believer in um, homeopathy and in alternative med medicines as well, as you say, as well, of course, as, tr as traditional, traditional medicine. And I've got, I have no doubt that he's you know, exploring all of those sorts of avenues and doing whatever he can to, to stay healthy. Because we have to remember that prior to, prior to January, uh, the king was in rude health. I mean, all the indicators were that he's lived a life without any serious ailments. You know, his, his greatest um, medical issue came very young in life, in around, I don't know, 1962, 62, 63. He had appendicitis, which was very severe. I mean, he could have died from that. But since then, all the decades of his life following that, he's been in fantastic health. Been in hospital many times, but those were for falling off horses playing polo. So he had many broke broken bones from being quite such a sporty individual. It's true. He's been thrown from many a horse, hasn't he, and got up bravely and carried on on his way. Um, Rafe Hadelmanku, uh, we're out of time. Thank you very much uh, for talking to us this morning.